This video is going to show you how to use the real date and time, uh, either separately, divided, or how to use them all together. It will also show you how to make certain objects appear on the screen at a certain time in the real world and then disappear at other times. For example, when the seconds here get to 24, you'll see something appears. And when it gets to 26, it will disappear again. Stay tuned. Right now I just have a draw loop, a white background, I've made the text bigger and green, and then I've just got this one text block right here that says using the real date. I'm going to copy this one, paste it, and scoot it down just a little like that. And then I'm going to take this out, S for seconds. Alright, and that's just going to hold it. And then I'm going to say, uh, inside the draw loop, I'm not, not there. Inside the draw loop, I'm going to update the value of seconds. Why is that catching on the same line? All right, let's go back. Okay, so I'm going to update the value of S, this thing that I want to be the seconds, and here's where I'm going to put new date with a capital D. Let's try that. There we go, and now we have the second hand. Uh, now you'll have to take my word for it that that's the right actual seconds. All right, uh, let's try another one. Oh, actually, let's do this to make it clear. Inside this little text block, let's put seconds in quotes plus this S that controls the seconds. And I'm going to put a space in there. Notice resetting it doesn't reset this number because it's based on the clock seconds and not on regular seconds. Okay, so when I expect, when I get, this gets to 59, I expect it to reset back to zero, right? Because it's the second hand of a clock. So we'll just wait just a half second, check on that one. Okay, so it's back to zero. So let's make another one that's minutes. Uh, so we'll make a variable called m for minutes. Let's refresh here, it's acting strange. Okay, so we'll make one called minutes, uh, called m, and I'm gonna copy this guy and paste him. Except this time, obviously, I'm gonna say get minutes. And I'm going to make another block like this one. I'm going to scoot this one down to the 200 position. Let's say minutes. And give it a plus M right there. Now the minutes should be 34 if it's falling off my clock. And it is. Uh, I think I want minutes to come first. There we go. Wait, that didn't work. Oh, because it doesn't matter the order of the code, it matters the order of the numbers. There we go. And then I want to do an hour one too, so we'll do this one more time. And I'll show you how to put them together. Call this one H, need a variable, call it H. And the reason I'm just doing these letters is I want to avoid any possible... I don't want to use any JavaScript reserved words, so I'm just doing it this way. Get hours. I uh, forgot to move it over. Actually, let's move this one up to 100 on the y-axis. And we'll move the words up to 50. Okay, so it's 12.36 right now. This says 12.36. You just scoot that over. All right, so if you wanted to combine all of these together, um, you could do that. So let's just make one more that has all of them together. Get rid of this. We'll put it at position 250 down here. And right here, we're going to say hour plus quotation marks colon plus minutes plus quotation marks colon and the colon is the separator right plus seconds and let's see what that looks like I think that'll work 
so now you have yourself a clock. Now you can do lots of cool things with this. You can get month in the same way, new date dot get month. Uh, you can probably do get year. So this is a way that you could use JavaScript to make certain things seasonal. In fact, let's try that really quickly. Uh, let's make a little Santa Claus up here. And let's make him only show up uh, at certain times. Okay, so there's there's my Santa. Uh, let's make him only show up if the second hand is greater than 23 and it's and the second hand is less than 26 so that means on the 24th Christmas Eve 25th Christmas Day just those two uh, we'll draw sprites on just those two so here's what we're watching when this gets to 24 and 25 Santa Claus should show up for just a minute and then he should go right back away. There he is. And he's gone again. Alright. 